Hey everyone, I'm Nico here. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to create a terminal of your own by using C language. So now I'm going to show you. First of all, I just created all these functions like this. These are the functions which are going to work inside the terminal. So, inside the main function, I created a character like this. And after that, I just printed some decorated things just to look like a terminal. Afterwards, I'm just scanning that A string that I created before. And the thing which I scanned, I, now I'm going to compare with each and everything over here. I created a lot of functions like this. And if the thing is going to match any one of these uh, commands, so called, these things are going to be executed. Like if I type read inside this one, this read function is going to be executed. So, this is how the thing is going to work. And if nothing of these things are going to match, then the else is going to be executed. And these are the functions I created over here. And we'll have one thing called help function also. If I show you the thing, then you'll get more clarity. So now I'm going to show you this terminal. I just named it Nicholas Terminal. Now I'm opening it as you can see. First of all, it shows the time and this is the real date and time. And now I'm going to type help, hit enter. And here, as you can see, all these things which are showing are just commands which can be used inside this terminal. For example, now I'm going to type in this write command. Now I can specify a name of the file like hello.txt. Inside this one, I can type hello world. This thing, that thing is going to be stored inside this file. And if I enter this swirly icon like this above the tab button and hit enter, this thing is going to be stopped. And it says successfully written. And we can read this one too by using the read command. Uh, we can just type the name of the file that we have just created, which is hello.txt. It is going to work with any of the extensions and files, also file names also. It says hello world and, and it says here successfully read. And yes, we can do a lot more. If we don't want to see this thing in the background color of this purple and all those things, we can just type CLR to go back to the normal state. And if we want to go back to the same thing that we have seen before, uh, that is the start screen. I call it a start screen. So I name like this STSCR. It is now going to show you this, uh, the same thing that we have uh, seen before. So we can go back and forth what we have typed also like this, like a original terminal. And now I have another function also which is called as dt, which is get in time. It's, it's going to show us get in time. And let's go. Okay. And yes, this is how the terminal is going to work. And if you want to download this one, uh, this is the source code of this one. If you compile this thing, you can get, but I, I just explained you how to do it. You can do it by your own. Now, I'm going to show you how to download this thing. First, you need to go to this link. Just, just copy this link. And paste it over here. And this is how this is going to show. Just click on this fork button. It is going to show like this. Afterwards, just click on this three dots and select download as zip. It is going to download. Okay, now this zip file has been downloaded. I'm just going to the zip file. Uh, and now I'm going to extract it over here. As you can see, now we'll have this terminal. Just open it, and this thing is going to work like this. So I'm going to keep this link in the description. You can download it and use my terminal. So that's it, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Subscribe to Nikhil Tech to watch more of this like this. If you like this video, click the like button. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day.